delivers your WNEM TV5 news update. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Colette Boyd. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. Opening statements are underway for the three final men accused of plotting to kidnap Governor Whitmer and attempt to spark a civil war. Eric Molitor and brothers William and Michael Null are among the 14 people charged in the weeks before the 2020 election who were angered over the governor's COVID policies that shut down schools and closed several businesses. The three defendants have pleaded not guilty to their charges of providing material support for terrorist acts punishable by up to 20 years in prison and illegally possessing firearms. Of the other charged, others charged in that scheme, nine have been convicted in state or federal courts, including four who pleaded guilty while two were acquitted. Well, voting is underway at UAW locals across the nation on whether to authorize a strike against the big three. The contract between the United Auto Workers and General Motors, Ford and Stellantis expires in three weeks. And Union President Sean Fain is critical over the automaker's pace of negotiations. The UAW wants raises of 40% over four years, cost of living adjustments, an end to wage tiers and pensions for all workers. A yes vote does not mean a strike will happen, but it may give the union more leverage in talks. Results of the vote are expected on Thursday. Well, happening today, pending the weather, you can get a front row seat to see officials unveil the newest mural in downtown Saginaw. It's on the vacant Behringer building right across the street from TV5 Saginaw studio. You can see here a time lapse showing the artists at work, adding some special touches. The unveiling is set for 530 tonight with the celebration featuring musicians, poets and other performers. Now here's Diane with a look at your forecast. We've been keeping an eye to radar through the morning with showers and thunderstorms, but come the afternoon, we are starting to see that energy fade away. So we will have those thunderstorms coming to an end. Hour by hour conditions, though, showing the storms that we have in the thumb and how those will exit towards the south and east. Filling in behind it, we still will have quite a bit of cloud cover, but the goal is to get some sun in. Now, that still will set up an environment for us that could support stronger storms, but we have what we call a cap over over mid Michigan, and that's going to limit that upward motion that the storms have to take to develop. So we will be seeing if anything happens to that cap and if any storms start to fire, though hour by hour forecast doesn't look like there's a lot of action as we go into this evening. But still overnight, there is the chance for at least a few showers, but better rain chances do appear late on Thursday. So as far as the timing and the location, we'll have a better feel for that as we go into tomorrow, but still anticipate the back half of the day with the chance for some weather. As far as this afternoon and evening, because of the environment that we have, I want everybody to be weather aware because you will find that we do still have some severe weather risk here, but with that cap in place that could limit the development. If we do have some stronger storms, you're going to find that the higher chance is through the thumb, but winds, hail, and even an isolated tornado potential would be on the table if these storms do start to take shape. Now, it's not just the rain and the storms that we are monitoring. We we are keeping an eye for some heat coming our way tomorrow, though we might be short of 90 degrees, still the upper 80s and the humidity. It's going to feel like the 90s tomorrow, so be prepared for a warm one and then we do cool things out. We're going to be eyeing 70s as we get close to the weekend. Now your seven day forecast still has those 80s and the rain kind of going, but then those rain chances become lower as those highs do drop. You will find that we are into the low to mid 70s as we head into next week and even some of those overnight lows come the weekend a little more refreshing. We're spotting those in the lower 50s, mid 50s, so we will keep an eye on the forecast as far as any warm ups or cool downs for next week. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather and information.